Joining me now is Pennsylvania Congressman Tom Marino. He has endorsed Donald Trump for president. Congressman, thanks so much for being with us. I want to talk about the idea of the rig system and the op-ed in a moment. But first, there were meetings on Capitol Hill yesterday. The Trump campaign sent representatives to speak to members of Congress, those who were supporting Donald Trump, to brief them on the status of the campaign. What happened behind closed doors? It was a good meeting. Uh, the representative uh, from the Trump campaign uh, told us where they think we stand on delegates. Uh, considering Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey seems to be looking good and out in California. We talked about what we're doing at the grassroots level and uh, how we started uh, contacting delegates, uh, how we started opening offices. So it, was a, it was a good cordial meeting. It's a handful right now of members of Congress. You're one of them supporting Donald Trump. Yes, yes. Any new members coming, do you think? Will there be more endorsements? Can you give us some news here in the coming days and weeks from members of Congress? I think there will be in the next coming days, uh, a week or so. Just uh, We just left the floor from voting. I had a couple of uh, my colleagues, uh, the Republicans, uh, come up to me, ask me some questions, knowing that uh, I'm the chair in Pennsylvania for the Trump campaign. And by their comments and questions, uh, I think we're going to see more uh, in the next several weeks, and after that, even more. You've been a member of Congress for a few years. You were in Pennsylvania government or you know, an elected prosecutor before that. Maybe yes. part of the system. Is the system rigged? Well, the system is very difficult. It's archaic. It's uh, the responsibility of each state to set their system up. But don't forget, these systems, uh, all, they may be tweaked, but they've been around for decades when there were party bosses. And party bosses controlled things. And party bosses controlled people by patronage. And now with the, the media that we have, with people like you getting information out to the public, there are people are aware that, hey, wait a minute, I'm a voter, I'm a constituent, I vote, not a handful of people at some level, whether it's at the uh, campaign level or whether it's at uh, the national or state level, I have a say in this, and not one or two people just picking delegates as they want to to serve their own purpose. You know, the game may stink, but even if the game stinks, yeah. don't you have to play it well? Sure do. There's no question about that, and that's why I've been brought on. That's why I've been asked uh, to advise. That's why I've been asked to start up what we did in Pennsylvania. And we are doing that. We're getting more and more people involved, uh, more volunteers. And you have to play the system. You have to play the game. doesn't mean that it's uh, a great system. It just means we have a mission. We have to accomplish it. And uh, we have adapted to that. You think the Trump campaign needs to play that game better? I think we are playing it better. And I think it's going to get even better as we go along. We have people in the field. This is the point where now we're talking to delegates. We're making phone calls. We're doing eye-to-eye -eye contact with them. We are listening to what they have to say. That is key. Uh, before, it's, you know, the party told you what to do. But people are so moved in this campaign. Donald Trump has brought together millions of people from all walks of life, from both parties and people who have never voted and they want to vote in this. That's the way it should be. The American people decide this, not a handful of bosses and political insiders. Congressman, uh, you talk about a strange system. Pennsylvania, you know, you have one of the strangest. You have some yes. delegates that are awarded at large by the state, but you also yeah. have direct election of delegates yeah. who are largely unbound. Uh, right. it, yeah, it we is, have. You know, the Trump campaign up to this, I mean, this requires, you know, really granular work and identification. And if you want to get your people on board, you've got to identify delegates, people who will support Donald Trump in each one of the congressional sure. districts. Well, I'll tell you what, you come to Pennsylvania, you come to the 10th, 10th congressional district and the 11th congressional district because I'm the chair, my good friend Lou Barletta, he's the co-chair, and see what we're doing across the state in, in opening these offices. And it, it is working. Uh, we've been working on this uh, since uh, I uh, came out and said I endorsed Donald Trump. And I did it before Super Tuesday. And I'm the only candidate that came out and endorsed him without ever endorsing anyone else. So uh, Lou and I and the people that we have working for us and the constituents that are involved in this, we have it down. Quickly, out of 71 delegates available in Pennsylvania, how many will go for Trump? I think uh, mid-50s, maybe higher. All right. Congressman Marino, thanks so much for being with us. Interesting projection. Really appreciate it.